Hello, teacher. Welcome to the class. Good evening, how are you? Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. 
How are you today? Hi, thank you. Perfect. Welcome to the class. Hello, everybody. We're going to wait for the rest of the people to come to the class. Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. I hope the internet connection is better today. I made some changes, so let's see how it goes. So um, the first thing that we're going to check is the platform. So today we are in the class number three. So Okay, so this is the video conference that we are by now filming, right? Recording. And here is already the question for today. Oh, it's not here. I guess I made it in a different one. One, two, three. okay. Let me just check because it was supposed to be here, but there is going to be a question at the end of the class. And the homework for today is going to be this one that is going to be Categorize the examples according to the channel presented in the chart. So this is like the same chart that we saw already in the class. And we need to select the correct option so we can choose what is the best or what is this related to. So that is going to be it. Okay, and before we move on, we are going to check the attendance for today. Okay, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Uh, for you is the one on one of today, Ana Salmi. Okay. Flor de, okay. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Me encuentro. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here, teacher. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present, teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present, teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present teacher. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Osmin Baires Solórzano. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Perfect. Good evening. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher, Ricardo. Good evening. 
Good evening. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Yancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Present. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. And Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Ana Michelle Guevara. Present. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Good evening, present. Good evening. Okay, perfect. So we are going to start the class of today. So hopefully, I believe the internet is a little bit better. I made some changes, so I hope everything goes well. So we are going to try to see if we can see the videos today. So I will share the video and you let me know if you are able to see it and to, uh, to listen to it, okay? okay? So let's see. It's not letting me do that. Let me see here. It doesn't allow me to. Okay, I'm going to run a little bit and let me know if you are able to hear and see. Are you able to listen? No. Oh, oh my goodness. Let me just check here. Let's see here. Oh, here is it. Okay. And it's going to be this. Okay, let's see now if you are able to. Are you able to listen? No. no okay, not at all. Yeah, I don't we know. Don't have a play. We don't have play. I guess the thing is I, I play a little bit, let's see. So can you listen to it? No, listen. Okay. Let me research on that one. I don't know why it's not possible. It should be possible, but anyways. Okay, anyways, we're going to start with the class of today. And I'm going to... Okay. Let me try something. Let's see if this way works. No, it doesn't let me. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. Okay, so this is the class of today. We're going to check. We're going to talk about distribution channel. I have a question for you. Are you able to listen to me in a better way? Yes. Or is the yes. same? No, okay, today, today is perfect. The song. Oh, okay, perfect. I'm happy about it. Oh, nice, perfect. I'm happy that I was able to fix that one. We just missed the, the videos, but we're, I'm gonna work on that one. So, um, types of producer companies. So remember that the first step is to produce a company, I mean, a product or service. So um, let's see, Pamela, could you please read the first one? Yes, uh, production businesses. 
production, procurement, or manufacture of primary products. Very good, perfect, thank you. So this is the first one, production businesses. So are the ones who actually manufacture the primary products, products that we are going to consume. So that is it. So do you know what is procurement? The process of the purchase. Very good, nice. That is the process of the purchase, very good. So the next one, let's see. Um, Flor de Maria, could you please read the next one? Okay, teacher, marketing business, marketing or promotion or primary, primary products or provision of educational service. So marketing businesses are aim to promote a primary or produce or provision educational services. Well, this is like a very specific one, but it's like uh, the ones that advertise, right? the ones that um, come and take a product and tell you what is this for and what you're going to be uh, using this for. This is like more in the aim of educational process uh, or kind of business. Let's see, Carla Vasquez, could you please read the, uh, the third one? A production business. Uh, no, technical service businesses. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Technical service business, technical assistant to pro producer providing training and educational service or conducting research and development. Very good. So this is like for technical assistance to producers. Okay, so this is more aimed to, to the ones that are going to build a product, providing training. What is training? Uh, training is workshop. <laughs> okay, very good. Yeah, training is like a workshop. It's when when you go and try to learn something, right? Something new, a procedure, a process, or a methodology, anything uh, that is related with uh, and a specialization. Um, educational service, let's say, and conducting research. What is research? Research is investigation. Very good. It's to investigate about something, right? It's like uh, when you want to know why it's happening and you get information and things like that. Okay, and what is development? Yesterday we were discussing about development. So do you remember what is development? Desarrollo. Yeah, in English, try in English, please, so we can practice a little bit. Yeah, when you have something to develop like a process so it's going to be better, right? Develop like de development and when you start something. Yeah, that is it. You start a process or uh, yeah, to create something and you are in the step-by-step -step procedure, right? Good. Let's see. Uh, next one is going to be read by um, Osmin, please. Yes, yes, teacher. Finance business. Finance is producer activity from production, marketing, or development domain. Domain. Very good. So, financial business. Of course, this is about money, right? So, finance producer activities from production, marketing, or development domain. So this is just about money, how we're going to get the funds or the sales or the investment or the capital about uh, anything that we want to produce. And the last one, the last one is going to be for Jan Silistad. Infrastructure businesses provide infrastructure to producer in the part of electricity. Water resource irrigation techniques, techniques, land, utilization, and so, so on. So on. Very good. So this is about what we have, uh, like the building and things like that. It provides infrastructure.
to producers in the form of electricity, water resources, irrigation techniques, land utilization, and so on. So electricity, of course, is the power, right? It's not just the illumination, but also the, the power for machines and things like that. Water resources, why is this important in a, in a company? Water resources. What do you think? I'm sorry? Recurs of the agua, no? Water resources? Yeah but, yeah, but why is this important? Meaning, mainly in building. Okay, very good. Yeah, to maintain, to get the maintenance to the building, to have a, everything running the way that you need. The other one says uh, land utilization. Land utilization. is referred to the exploitation of the land no very good so you are going to make the land to produce something right to produce money um, in there are many ways for you to do that one of course good and oh, we checked that already but anyways we're going to check into some other let's say um, definition susana could you please read the first part Okay, protect a set of business activities that adds value to the products and services sold to customers, consumers for their personal or family use. Very good, thank you. So it's a set of business activities. So it's not just a person, it's not just one place. So it's a set of business activities that adds value to the products and services sold to consumers. So remember that the retailers, they are the ones who provide directly to the consumers. So they get bulks from wholesalers or producers, and then they are the ones who uh, provide their products and services to the consumers. So, but not only that one, they also add value. So why, why am I going to purchase from a retailer store and not from a producer? It's because they try to add value to the products and services, okay? And uh, the last part, could you please, uh, let's see, Guadalupe, could you please read the, the last part? A return is a business that sells products and all service to consumers for personal or family use. Perfect, so this is like, the last part of the distribution channel, right? Uh, when we're talking about, of course, a large, a complex distribution channel. Do you have any questions on this one? Any word, pronunciation? Uh, retailing is the activity. Retailer is the person who does the activity. It's like work. That is the activity. activity and retailing is the activity of selling, of, of, of getting some products and services to the consumer. So it's the name of the activity. A retailer is the person who does that activity. Okay. Good. Any other question? Oh, you're welcome. No more questions. Okay, and also we have consultant. We also check consulting yesterday, but let's check some other parts of that one. Uh, Rosa Elena Salgado, could you please read the first part? Okay. Consultant, definition. A consultant is a professional who provides expert advice in a particular area such as security, management, education, accountancy, law, marketing, finance, science, or any other specialized fields. 
very good, perfect. So as we said before, it's like an expert that comes to your company or business to, to help you uh, in an, an specific area, right? Because you need to improve, you need to implement something, develop something, a procedure, a process. Uh, in this case, it might be like in a distribution channel. So, but there are consultants in, in many, many areas, for example, in management, that is huge, right? Management, I mean, can be almost everything. Security, of course, education. So schools, they sometimes get some some people that come and speak about methodology and the way that students are going to learn better. Accountancy about money, of course, law. So there are many, many consultants and many specialists. So let me ask you a question. If I asked you what is your specialized, specialized area, what would you tell me? For example, and tell me if you will become in a consultant, what will be your area? In my case, the consultant is in financial services. Very good. So you're very good with the finance and, and all the advanced things like that. In my case, I am in uh, contable. Contable. Ah, very good. So you're, you're an accountant and you might be a consultant with an accountant. Yes. Very good. So that's like the, the area of expertise. What about my Melanie? What will be your area of expertise? Uh, for me, is in marketing. Marketing in my end, very good, nice. Carla Vázquez, what would be your area of expertise? Admin and administrative area. Very good. So that is very important also, the way that you are going to manage many things. Thank you. Osmin, what would be your area of consultancy? Okay, teacher, in my area is in security. Security, very good. Nice. Good, good. That's a very yes. important part. Yeah. Good. What about Jancy Lisbeth? In my area, financial and accounting. Financial and accountant. Very good. Numbers and money. Good. Zulma Rosaura, what about you? Um, I am in financial and business intelligence. Very good. Business intelligence is very interesting. Let me ask you, do you use analytics like BigQuery or Big Data for, for you to analyze your data? Yes, we use a system. Uh, in my case, we use Power BI for Create a dashboard or report. Ah, okay, very good. So this is linked to SharePoint or anything like that. Sorry? Is this link to SharePoint or anything related to that? Ah, for you to get yes. the data? We share. Oh, okay, um, very good. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh, let's see, Ada Patricia Linares, what will be your area of expertise? In my case, teacher is the area administrative. Administrative, very good, perfect, thank you. What about Gloria Elizabeth Linares? I'm sorry? Management. Management, very good. Nice. That's very nice. What about Anna Michelle Guevara? In my case, I think that in process audit. Ah, okay, very good. That is very interesting. So it's not about money, but the processes and procedures step by step so you can check for that. Yes. 
Okay, very good. What about Rosa Elena Salgado? Maybe inventory, logistics. Oh, logistics and inventory is very, very important. Nice, yes. that's very good. <laughs> Thank you. What yes. about Rafael Ernesto Gonzalez? What will be your area of consultancy? Finance and content. Financial and content. I guess here in the class, if we build a company, I, I guess we are going to do a very good job, right? So we are going to have a lot of profit. What about Flor de Maria Carballo? In my case, education and marketing. Education and marketing, that, those areas are very different. So uh, you also teach, you say that you teach in the, at the university, right? No, not yet. And no the, yet. Okay. <laughs> only the formation professional. Okay, that is very good. Interesting, nice. What about Adriana Martinez? Hello, teacher. Yeah, what will be your area of expertise? In my work. Uh-huh. If you were a consultant, what would you be a consultant for? In my case, in the in the is on group, the auditor. Perfect, thank you. Now, um, Ophelia Orellana, what will be your area of expertise? I guess she's... Okay, be careful, don't crash. So, Susana Hernandez, what will be your area of expertise? Well, um... In every commercial, we see um, sales uh, in local uh, in exportation too. Okay, very good, perfect. That is nice. Uh, Pamela, what about you? What will be your area of expertise? I guess she's buying some bread or anything like that. Uh, what about Ricardo Alexis? Hello, teacher. Is uh, McKay in my in my case is a uh, area technique uh, installation is a uh, ah, operation required. Yes. Okay. 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 Very good. Thank you. Perfect. Guadalupe Lopez, what will be your area of expertise? I'm sorry. Development. Okay, very good. That is very interesting. Yeah, very good. Perfect. Thank you. So now uh, the keynotes, um, let's see. Ricardo, could you please read the keynotes on this one? Sorry, no, Melissa. Yeah, could you please read the keynotes in the presentation? Is it a presentation? Yeah, could you please read keynotes, the last part of what you see there? In the world. Yeah, keynotes. Do you see the presentation? No. So there in front, you see consultant and definition and then keynotes. So. The request is for you to read the keynotes. But maybe you're not able to. 
Okay, who wants to read the keynotes? Anybody? Me, I can. Okay, perfect. Uh, keynote. Consultants provide specialized advice. Higher hourly rates when compared to contractors. Consultants generally charge on a project basis. Or basis. Okay, basis. That is it. Uh, basis. Okay, so these are three important things that we need to take in consideration when we are going to hire a consultant. For first of all, they provide specialized advice in one area, right? Uh, so you need to understand that one. The next one is higher hourly rates when compared to contractors. That means that they are more expensive since they are professionals that are specialized. The, the payment is going to be higher, okay? When you get a contractor, sometimes they do many things, but a consultant that is like a higher level. So the payment will be more. And the last one says consultants generally charge on a project basis. Sometimes um, it's possible for you to get a consultant to, to get a training, I mean, to provide, to deliver a training. So they can teach people in the company how to do some things. And then it's supposed that people are able to do the, the work uh, that it should be done. Do you believe that that is true? Do you believe that if a consultant comes to your company and provides a training, are you able to do the job? What is your opinion? I think that it helps, but uh, your experience is so important. Anybody? Teacher? Yes. Okay, I think that that it helps the 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 consultant, but uh, the experience uh, is very important. Yeah, it's difficult, right? I mean, it's maybe yeah, you are going to have an idea on how to do things, but it's better to hire a consultant to be with you in the process of creating something, improving something. So not just for the training. Distributor. Uh -huh, go ahead. Oh, sorry, teacher. No, I think that is very important the kids know because in all business, uh, when they have or we have uh, development, development uh, any project, it's very important account with uh, a specialist in the in the business or in or especially in, in, the, in uh, uh, different areas for the business for to a uh, successful business is very important is uh, very important uh, account with uh, another opinion uh, about our development projects that is so true. Yeah, definitely it's very important for any company to have a, a person that is like an expert for the area that we are developing if we don't have the knowledge on that one. Okay, so we're going to check about distributor. Um, Adriana, could you please read the first part? Okay, okay. Uh, business that does not manufacture is own products but purchase and resell the, these products. Very good. For the edition. Very good. So it's a business that does not manufacture its own products but purchases and resells these products. So that is a distributor, right? According to the dictionary 14th edition. Uh, let's see the last part. Um, 
Sandra Mendes. Could you please read the last part? Okay. A business and industry that acts as a third party local representative and distribution point for a manufacturing field. These fields may perform some light assembly or kitting of goods, but generally provides a buffer for finished goods. Distributors typically purchase the goods is quantity from the manufacturer and ship to customer in smaller quantities. Very good. So this is a, a larger uh, definition, right? A business and industry that acts as a third party local representative and distribution point for a manufacturing firm. So this is the first part, okay? It's a business and industry because sometimes uh, there are many things involved in this one. These firms may perform. Uh, what is to perform? Do you remember? Therefore, perform. it's like a presentation. Very good. It's like the way that you execute something, right? The, the way that you do something. So these firms may perform some light assembly or kitting of goods. So this is like uh, sometimes they just uh, get the products and go to um, put them uh, in stores or sometimes they distribute little by little across the country, for example. But generally provides a buffer for finished goods. So what do you understand here when it says it generally provides a buffer for finished goods? What do you believe is this about? Nobody, nobody knows. I, teacher, I think that uh, finish good is when you uh, finally a pro, uh, success process or success ensembling or success production uh, that is ready for sales or for for distribution to the customer. Very good, that is it, right? So provides a buffer, so a big quantity of finished goods. The last part says distributors typically purchase the goods in quantity from the manufacturer and ship to customers in smaller quantities. So that is what we know that happens. Very good. Um, let's see. And the other one, of course, is wholesaling. Let's see. Uh, Flor de Maria, could you please read wholesaling? Okay, wholesaling. The process of, of selling good to cons consumer such as retailers, industries, or any other entity in entity. entity in bulk quantities and at low price a whole wholesalers buys products from the manufacturing in whole lots is split into smaller lots which are reparked foreigner and sold to the next part Okay, so wholesaling, it says that the process of selling goods to consumers, but not the final consumers. So that is the first part, right? To consumers such as retailers, industries, or any other entity in bulk quantities. That means that in large quantities, right? It's not going to sell individual, but a large amount. And at lower prices. That means that they, they sell to other retailers or industries or other companies uh, at a price that is not the final pricing. So the other ones, the retailers, they can get some profit 
from this process. So a wholesaler buys products from the manufacturer in huge lots. So it's like a lot. And they split into smaller lots, which are repacked further and sold to the next party. So this is like exactly is wholesaling. This, this is a very good, actually, definition. So why, uh, why do you believe that it's a very good business for a wholesale company to sell if they uh, if sell this product if they they have lower prices i mean if they they give uh, a price that is not the final price and so they earn less money why do you believe it's a good business this I think that because they they sell in a huge quantity. Very good. Yeah, that's the reason why, right? This is a very good business because you are not going to sell just one thing, right? You are going to sell hundreds, maybe thousands of products. So you are going to have a lot of money uh, when you just sell this to retailers, uh, other industries, other stores. And then the retailers, they have to purchase one by one, right? So when you go to the store, you just purchase one, two, three things of something. But the retailers, they purchase a lot. So that is why this is a good, uh, go ahead. Okay, sorry. Uh, Wholesaling whole is can say, a authorized distribution? It could be authorized something like that, yeah, an authorized. authorized. Yeah, because, yeah, they sometimes they have an agreement, right? It's not okay. that just they just go and purchase things. So they are the producers, and then the producers are the ones who sell to the wholesaling, for example. So what is going to happen is that uh, yes, they have agreement. They sign contracts sometimes. So uh, they know that they are the ones who are going to get these products and also these prices, these special prices, so they can purchase to the, to the next. Sometimes when you go to the supermarket and you see some products, you will see that it says uh, recommended pricing to the public, right? That means that that is the price that the producer recommends, but they know that they, if they sell the products to retailers or other stores, uh, the pricing is different. So they can sell to the regular pricing to the, to the whole people. Good. Any questions about this one? Let me ask you about, let's see, some words that we need to analyze just to remember that one. For example, uh, there was one, huge. What is huge? Big. Big, very, very big, right? Very, it's more than big. big. Volume. Yes. Yeah. High volume, very good. And what is split? Division, teacher. To divide, very divide. good. When divide. you divide, divide, very good, perfect. When you divide things and then you will be able to, I mean, separate them, right? Very good. The other one, it says, let me see. Okay, no, that is it. Let's move on. Teacher, and this is I'm sorry. Full... <laughs> it, it, I'm sorry. In this context, what mean a uh, party? A third party. Uh -huh. Third party is like another company and another that is not like the first that is the producer and not the final consumer. So it's something that is like intermediary. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Very good. 
perfect. Uh, let's, do you have any other question about this one? Okay, so this is about the four pizza marketing mix. It's a little bit related with this one. So we are going to check about this. Distribution channel for products. So uh, let's see. Um, Osmin, could you please read the first part where it says product? Okay, teacher. Products. Excuse me, thank you. What are you saying? A uh, shiny new business. Why did Widget. Widget, okay, thank you. A hand coffee. Uh, look, look for, look for IT. Chicken tactics, where wherever is in your aisle near to think about how the tactics in person the, the market 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 that show call this family waste all the factory and the specialization of the products they sell. Very good, perfect. Thank you. Okay. So, of course, yes, go ahead. Uh, so, uh, read, uh, appraisal. I'm sorry? Uh, read appraisal. Uh, you want to read price. Okay, let's yes. wait a little moment. We're going to discuss about product first, okay? Okay. Good, perfect. So, you're next. Uh, so, what are you selling? Of course, that is the maybe the most important thing, right? The product itself, a shiny new business widget. Do you know what is a widget? What is a widget? Like a, like a, like a tool, no. Like a tool, like a device, oh, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah, a widget might be like, for example, a smartwatch. That is like a widget, right? And it says a shiny new business widget. What is shiny here? What do you understand about shiny in this sentence? Shiny is, I think there is something brilliant. Very good. That is like yeah. brilliant. A so brilliant it's new brand business new. Widget. Mm -hmm. Very good. So this is like something very nice, right? Mm -hmm. Very, very new, very nice. You have very a, good, a, a good idea in your mind. Okay, very uh -huh. good. Yeah, nice. Okay, the other one says a handcrafted luxury item. So handcrafted, what is that? Anybody know? Um, handcrafted when, is when someone makes something with her own hands, I think. Are, Very good. Yeah. I that, like an artisan. Yes, something like an artisan. Yeah. So it's handcrafted. Yes, it's something that people do with their own hands. Hand so it's not made example. by. Uh, very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there are things that are better if you, uh, people build them with their hands, right? A luxury no wind machine. A luxury hammock or a luxury um, dining room, living room, I don't know, like the Nawisalco <laughs> that people does in Nawisalco. Yeah, that is true. Very good. Perfect. So, of course, we all know what are chicken tacos, right? They are very good. And then it says, whatever it is, you'll need to think about how to package or present it. Do you remember that we were discussing about that one, right? That in distribution, it's also important the way that you see the product, the package, the box, the bag, if it's nice, if it's shiny. I mean, when you see the package, sometimes, sometimes you want to purchase something. So you're happy about that one. And when you open a package, also you are happy. So that is very important. And it says marketeers should be familiar with all the features and specifications of the products they sell. What are features? Characteristics. 
Yeah, very good. Like characteristics of a product, right? Very good. Okay, now, Ricardo, could you please read price? Okay, price. Uh, to determine how much your products uh, cost during you to do some research, dinner, or do competition, a uh, price they're offering, and understand how much consumers are willing to pay. Very good. So regarding price, we need to determine how much your product should cost. You'll need to do some research. So it's not just about the costs, right? Because the costs, I mean, they are important, uh, but it's also about what people want. Learn how your comp competitors price their offerings and understand how much consumers are willing to pay. So there are three things that are important in price. Not the only ones, but the most important. Costs, competitors. So if there are other products that are similar to ours, how much are they paying for? And the last one is how much people would like to pay for this. So that is something very important regarding price. Uh, there is no word here that I would like to check. Okay. Uh, let's see, for promotion, uh, Sulma, could you please read promotion? Yes. A promotion these days, makers have many channels through which to promote their products. From radio, as to so social media banners, you, you'll need to decide which are right for your brand. We can listen to you, teacher. No, I can't.
not sure. Hi. Hello. We are so quiet. <laughs> Hello. Yes, we can yes, hear. Yes, hear. We you. can we can hear. We can hear us. Us. <laughs> <laughs> We ah uh, we can we can hear. <laughs> ya está que nos vamos a ir después de las 10. <laughs> oh my no. god. <laughs> I am working tomorrow. <laughs> I am working tomorrow. I wish that is today. I can clean my my. I had to do the homework. So yeah. I clean the house. Yeah. Oh my god. Teacher, I don't hear teacher. Ay, que se hicieron todo. Yeah. We have the instruction to join in a group. A uh, break and room. I like yes. a, a fine group, but I think it was a mistake because only I had in this, in this break and room. Yeah, in my case. I I was only me. Uh huh. Yeah, because I come back to the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, it's possible that all we have a break at home. <laughs> yeah. You what is the activity, the instruction? I don't know, I don't saw any instruction. Hi, Rosa. Hello. Come back, Rosa. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> Sulman, I come back. 
<laughs> and the others, where are the others? <laughs> Where is our teacher? Lost. <gasps> the teacher disappeared. Oh my God. No hay clase en recreo. Todos se me van para la casa. Maybe it's possible in Santa Ana. It's raining, maybe. Yes. Yes, yes it's possible because a few minutes ago, here, how a uh, Cut of energy. Hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hello. Can you hear me now? Yes, <laughs> teacher. We Welcome. You and we can hear you. Welcome, Mayan. This is something <laughs> crazy. I don't know what's going on. So that's why I send you to the break rooms. So to see if we go there and then we come back and we are able to continue. Okay. Okay. I don't know what's going on. But now you can hear me and you can see me, right? Yes. Yes. Very well. Very well. Okay, so we're going to continue. Uh, this is kind of strange. We're going to wait for the other people to come back because there are other people that are still there, okay? Hello? Can you hear hello? me now? Yes. yes. Hello, hello. Okay, I was afraid. <laughs> no, I was we afraid are so, that... We are so, we are so quiet. That's the, that's the way. <laughs> but we can okay. hear Perfect. <laughs> that's good. Okay, very well. Okay, we're going to continue with the class then. Let's see. So we were talking about the four P's, right? So now let me just present here. So we're going to promotion next. Who wants to read promotion? I can. Me teacher. Okay. Me, Tulma. Okay. Anybody can read the word. So, promotion. Who wants to read that? Promotion. Promotion. Okay. Yes, please. Promotion this day market had many cha channel through with to prom promote the product from radio ad to social media banner. You will ne need to decide with a right for your brand. Very good, perfect. So these days, so nowadays. Marketers have many channels through which to promote their products. So 
what are those channels? What do you believe are those channels to promote products in general? Social media. Social media is very important nowadays. Yes, I mean, in this moment. Banner. Banner. Okay. Ad Banners. Advertisement. Advertisement. Television. 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 Okay. Uh, what else? Uh, Cable. Yeah. Cable. Maybe Brown flyers. Ride. Flyers, yeah, that is old fashioned, but it works, you know, because yeah. if you receive a flyer, you read that one. I mean, for food, that is very common, right? But it's, it's, yeah. it's something that works. Yeah. Uh -huh. Traditionally, it's a restaurant, generally. That is true. I mean, uh, around 11 in the morning, 10 in the morning, if you receive that one, maybe you are going to eat something there. And there are some, some good bargains, right? Okay, and uh, well, it says from radio ads to social media banners, you'll need to decide which are right for your brand. And the last one, it says place. Uh, who wants to replace? Me, Sandra? Christina. Uh, Christina, you want to replace? Yeah, go ahead. You customer need to be able to find and purchase your, your products. Can they buy? your product online do they need to visit a store additionally you need to consider how much inventory to hold and where to keep it these days in in whole marketing strategy really and again and content to very bright customer to you to you um, or your website. website 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 okay very good place so please uh, so your customers need to be able to find and purchase your product so definitely this is something that we need to think about right in companies can they buy your product online so that is a very good question even if you uh, you are able to do some advertisements some promotion online sometimes it's not possible sometimes as we discuss people like to go in and see the product and check if everything is working properly right so do you need to visit a store additionally you'll need to consider how much inventory to hold. Oh, that is very important. How many pieces of the product you need in a store? So you have enough for people to buy, but not that many that is going to occupy a lot of space for maybe other products. Uh, I mean, this is very, very important. How do you believe that company calculate that one? What do you think? Company, Obtain, companies. Obtaining, obtaining an average of the sales each month. That might be getting an average. So yeah. if last month uh, I sold 300 products and the other month 350, probably 325 is going to be a good number for the next month. Right? And, uh, yeah. Any other? The companies have different tools, uh, for example, pronostic, uh, pronostic for sales, or uh, the monitoring, monitoring the, the sales, or statistic, the, how many quantities of specific product need to, to have in, in the chart. Very true. That is very, very important. As we are saying here, it's important. It's not just the average, for example, for flowers. You know, the flowers for some Valentine's Day, uh, for Mother's Day, 
a lot of people are looking for flowers. So yeah, it's going to be different on those days. So companies, they need to be aware on that. They check uh, historically also about pricing, also about many things that may happen depending on the situation at the day. Okay, it's and sure. then it says, go ahead. Hey, teacher, I think that is very important the forecast of sales because this depends the quantity of product that you need. That is true. Uh, you need to create like a forecast and there is also a deviation, right? The standard deviation that is going to be like um, a, a parameter so it's going to be between this this and this right so it's going to be something very important so yeah that is something that may kill or may gain a lot of profit in the company so it says additionally you'll need to consider how much inventory will hold and where to keep it these days inbound marketing strategies rely what is to rely Do you remember what is rely? Rely is, <clears throat> is um, oh my God. It's uh, when you depend or trust in something. Very good. When you trust. So oh, yes. uh, that is, that is it rely. So uh, you see here that it says that inbound marketing strategies rely they believe, they trust on engaging content to bring customers to your or your website. So they believe that with the content they launch and with the statistics that they have the last months, last years, uh, people are going to come and purchase, right? A lot of companies, all the companies, they do that one. What is engage? Do you remember what is engage? When you have the compromise, I think. Very good. Yeah, it's to commit, right? When you commit to do something. Okay. So, because of the little incident, you know, this is the very first time that happens a lot of problems with me. I've been teaching online for maybe four years now, and this is the very first time that happens. I'm sorry about that one. And we're going to talk about the, um, attendance. So we can move on. Let's see. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Present, teacher. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Thank you. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baires Solórzano. Present, teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Good. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Mari. Present, teacher. Good. Rosa Elena. Solo, aquí tengo agua yo. Water is important, yeah. <laughs> Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Two glasses are better. Good. <laughs> Two glass, three glass. Yeah, a lot of water is important. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Yancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Present. Good. Zulma Rosabra López García. Present. 
Good. Nelson Edgardo Sanchez Ramirez. Ana Michelle Guevara. Present. Thank you. And Susana Carolina Hernandez Iraeta. Present, teacher. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so we are going to continue today. Uh, right now, we're going to continue with the book. Just to check some details here. Okay. Okay, so we are going to continue with the distribution channel. So we have here how to use expressions of certainty. That it was something that we were checking also yesterday. Let's see, it says, look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercise below. Use these expressions to show how certain or sure you feel about an action or event. Let's see, um, the first part, the first chart. Okay. Expression of certainty appear before the main verb in a sentence book after the auxiliary verb. The investor is certainly coming tomorrow. The manager obviously shows the whole self approach distribution. Very good, perfect, thank you. So expressions of certainty appear before the main verb in a sentence, but after the auxiliary verb. That is very important. For example, the investor is certainly coming tomorrow. So do you see this uh, before the main verb, right? Coming, so certainly coming. Uh, the managers obviously choose the wholesale approach to distribution. So that is very important, the position of some words, because if we don't use the position in the right way, uh, people sometimes don't even understand what we're saying. So it's very important that we're going to use not only the correct words and the pronunciation, but also the position of the words right, in the whole sentence or idea. A question for everybody, what is an investor? What is an investor? It's a person who give money to start a new project. Very good. Yeah, that's exactly a person that provides the capital, the money for, uh, for a project, for a business, for a company. Good. What is approach? What is to approach? Anybody? What is approach? Maybe the methodology of the, the what is the objective? In, okay. Is related to the the in Spanish. I clear. Personal distribution. <laughs> English. Personal distribution <laughs> or negotiation. Okay. Yeah, that is like uh huh. We it, actually it's exactly that one here. It says choose the wholesale approach, meaning that there were other approaches. Other in this case, in this sentence, is like um, options. Similar were, person. Similar person. person. Uh, uh, horse. Yeah. Similar person, yeah. company. 
like that. So it's going to be something like that. So it's like options or, yeah, you have when, when other you. Option. Other option. Yeah. Actually, that's why it says choose the wholesale approach. So many oh. people approach to try to negotiate and try to make the business, but the wholesale is the one that was good. Teacher, I, I, can, I can be like a proposal. It can be proposals. So remember that sometimes we can use different words, different, um, yeah, different words are for you to say the same thing. We're talking, we're talking about businesses or um, things that are like very formal. There are a lot of words that we can use. So, case it could be, yeah, a proposal. Okay, Anna, Michelle, could you please read the next one? Below, please. Uh, and close. And close, yes, of, of course, okay. And close, of course, and in all like, likelihood, in commas, when they occur in the middle of the sentence, the investment meant, of course, a pay rise for the employees. Ed and Philip are in all likelihood ready to make their business grow. Perfect, thank you. So yes, um, in close of course, so of course that one, that one, uh, and the other one is in all likelihood. So those two situations are going to be separated by commas when they occur in the middle of a sentence. So those two examples. For example, uh, the investment meant, of course, a pay rise for the employees. So when, of course, when we are going to use, of course, in the middle of a sentence, there should be two commas to separate them. So, and also when we speak, we need to make a pause. The investment meant, of course, a pay rise for the employees. And the other one is in all likelihood. For example, Ed and Philip are in all likelihood ready to make their business grow. Okay, those are very similar. When we say in all likelihood, it's like there, uh, of course, uh, it's for certain, it's for sure. Right now is the moment, okay? So uh, both, of course, and in all likelihood should be separated by commas from the rest of the sentence. Is that part clear? Other form? I'm sorry? Other form, the course or likelihood. Uh, yes, you can use it in other positions. Remember that it's possible to use it um, before the main, the main one. But since this is, I mean, we can use, of course, in different ways. For example, you can say, of course, I will go to the party. And that is at the beginning of the sentence. But if you use that in the middle of the sentence, it's going to be separated by commas. That is the most important part here, the commas. Okay, so we need to separate them. Okay. Good. Uh, is is there any other question regarding this specific piece of grammar? Okay. So it says the investment meant. Uh, what is meant? Anybody knows what is meant? Uh, I don't remember. Yeah. Is the definition significant or I don't know, definition or described investment meant the explanation what is what is the investment? No. Yes, something Same like name. that, yeah. Oh, it's, it's the past in the bird. In the yeah, it's, it's the past. 
Okay, the object is very good, very nice. So in this case, it's like the object is the reason why. And this is in past, of course. Meant is the past of mean. What do you mean? Okay, so that will be it. Uh, let's see, pay a rise for the employees. What is a rise? increase pay yeah very good is the increase of the payment of your salary right it's something that we would like to have all the years but sometimes it's not possible so uh then says ed and philip are in all likelihood ready to make their business grow what is to grow a business good 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 talk Okay, good. Very good. That's good. Any other opinion on that? Increase the, the operation, the business. The... Very good. Perfect. Interested yeah, it's like in... increase sales. Very good increase the reasons of the business, right? Uh, for sometimes it's the size, sometimes it's more employees, sometimes it's sales, operations. I like that word, uh, increase the operations of the business. So it's going to, of course, get more profit. Okay, now we're going to go to the next one. Let's see. Well, it says sometimes expressions. Ooh, did you... and... Sorry? Yeah. Okay. What to do, you can do it. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Sometimes expression also, the time can be pleasant and the beginning, and, and, and the beginning of the sentence. Beginning. Beginning. Excuse me, beginning of the sentence. Uh, surely the manager will know how to arrange for distribution. Doubles the shipment will arrive on time. Teacher, it, it, um, each expression has a specific. I'm sorry, I, I don't listen. Don't listen to you. Hi, teacher. New teacher. I believe half the teacher. We can hear you, teacher. Maybe the connection is not good. Maybe internet. Bad connection.
is write the instruction of the group. Hello, can you hear me? Okay. Okay, we're going to continue. I don't know what is going on. This is the very first time that this is happening. I'm going to check with other teachers to see if they are also experiencing anything like this. Uh, but you can hear me right now, right? Yeah. Very right. Cool. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of strange. Now I know this little workaround that is to to send it to the break rooms and then come back, but it shouldn't be that way. Okay, I'm sorry about that one. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so we are going to continue with the class. We have the book. Let's see. Okay, so let's read the last part. Um, let's Ada, Patricia Linares, could you please read the last part? Teacher, I have a question. Go ahead. Um, each expression has a specific position in the sentences? Is uh, required no. memorize uh, or, this, or depend of the meaning? Uh, depends, depends. So for example, old, for all the words, you are going to use it like this. For example, on the first part says that expression of certainty appears before the main verb. That is the most common. The most common is like that. Like, for example, the investor is certainly coming tomorrow. So that is the most common. And it's going to be before the main verb. That is the most important part. The second more common is the last one that we read. Surely, the managers will know how to arrange the distribution. So sometimes, in these cases, like sometimes, expressions of certainty can be placed at the beginning of the sentence, okay? That depends on the parts of speech, depends on the main idea that you want to express. And the other one, uh, of course, and in all likelihood, that means that whenever you use those two. In this case, it's just those, those two expressions, only of course, and in all likelihood. When you use that, uh, is an, an if, uh, if it's in the middle of a sentence, you are going to use commas to separate, only those two. For the rest, for the rest of expressions of certainty, you can use it in the middle with no commas before the main verb, at the beginning, separated by commas, and we are going to check the last part. So that is like for uh, in general, in general, but there are some rules that we need to check into that one. So for example, the second one is about, of course, and in all likelihood. But those are not that common, to be honest with you. It's not that common that you use that. Thank you, teacher, it's clear. You're welcome. Okay, let's see. We were going to read. 
I don't remember. Let's see. Sandra Gladys Mendez, could you please read the last part? Okay. Uh, this expression. Mm -hmm. This expression can also be used at the end of a sentence. Partnering with a retailer will help use reach many more customers, obviously. Okay. So these expressions can also be used at the end of a sentence. So it is the same as at the beginning. For example, partnering with a retailer will help us reach many more customers, obviously. So if it's at the end, we also, we are going to use a comma. So we have three different ways of the position of the certainty expressions, okay? The first one is in the middle of a sentence before the main verb. That is for all the certainty expressions, for all of those. Yes, so all of the first. Obvious, always, uh, obvious, uh, uh, obvious, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, for example, in the, in the Felix example, do you see that one that it says the managers obviously choose the wholesale approach to distribution. So in that one is in the middle of the sentence. Okay, so I can change it. I can say the managers choose the wholesale approach to distribution, obviously. Mm -hmm. So it's possible. Mm -hmm. And I can say also, obviously, the managers choose the wholesale approach to distribution. So it's possible in the three ways. But what different, obviously, uh, medially mm -hmm. and, and finally? It's the same. It's exactly the same. The only thing that is going to be very important is that if you use, obviously, mm -hmm. for example, the time, uh, the expression of certainty, at the okay. beginning or at the end of the sentence, we are going to use a comma. That is very important. The meaning this mm, sentence depends on the uh, what, what you want to express but in this situation for example if we go to the first part we can say we can oh, yeah. say the managers obviously choose the wholesale approach to distribution or we can say obviously the managers choose the wholesale approach to distribution or we can say the managers choose the wholesale approach to distribution, obviously. So in the three ways, it's correct. It's not a difference. I mean, it's not that one is more correct than the other one. Okay. It's sure so it's possible to use it. Go ahead. Okay, in, in another case, uh, the J replaces the comma. I'm sorry? Uh, in, in another in another case, uh, the J, the, the letter J, replaces the comma. Mm -hmm. Yeah, replace the comma. Yeah, yeah. Replace, yeah. Micro teacher, excuse me. No, listen. Don't listen to you. Don't listen. Teacher, we can hear you. The most common is the first part. The, that one is what almost everybody uses. So the investor is certainly coming tomorrow. That is the most common way for us to use expressions of certainty. Uh, do you have any question about this? Any other question?
quizá para que no quede duda, ah, lo voy a decir en español. Las expresiones de certainty se pueden usar en medio, al principio o al final. No importa. It's not important. No es que esté correcto o incorrecto. Solo que si se usan al final o al principio, tienen que llevar coma. Y las únicas dos que sí llevan coma en medio son, of course, a in all likelihood. Eso si las ocupo en medio de la oración, tienen que ir separadas las dos comas. De ahí todas las demás pueden ir al principio, en medio, al final. Si va al principio y si va al final, va con una coma. Si va en medio, no lleva coma. In so that is it. Ya. Yeah. No, uh, no coma in the middle. Only, of course, mm -hmm. and in all likelihood. Those two, yes. Nice. So, it says divide the list of two categories, words that express certainty and those that express uncertainty. So, I will tell you and you tell me, certainty or uncertainty. So, certainly. Of course. Uh, well, no, the first one I'm telling you is this one, certainly. Is that certainty or uncertainty? Certainty. 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 Very good. Supposedly. Uncertainty. Uncertainty. Yeah, that is not for sure, right? Supposedly is like, mm, yeah, it's supposed to. I don't know. Maybe, right? So it's uncertainty. Very good. Naturally. Certainty. Certainty, very good. Possibly. Uncertainty. Uncertainty, very good. Apparently. Uncertainty. Uncertainty, good. Presumably. Uncertainty. Uncertainty, of course. Certainty. 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 Probably. Uncertainty. 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 Obviously. Certainty. 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 And doubtless. Uncertainty. Uncertain. Okay. Certainty. Very good. Perfect. Certainty. That is certainty. So, do you have any questions about this? Questions? No, no. Okay, it's very important if uh, if you have questions to to say the questions. Okay, it's very very important because um, remember that whenever you go to New York and speak with other people there, you need to express very well, right? So it's very important that if you have questions, just tell me. Okay. Si tiene preguntas, confianza, puede preguntar. No hay ningún si no queda claro algo, hablamos en español de la clase. Pero más importante es que quede claro. Okay. Uh, igual, si la no me entiende, puede ser en español también. Ahora, casi siempre vamos a tratar de usar el inglés como para que podamos expresar. Si les pregunto qué significa esto y les digo, pues espero en inglés para ver cómo muera. Entonces, es, es parte de la práctica. Pero si de plano hay algo que no se entiende, I mean, we can speak with Spanish. No, porque no está prohibido. So, igual me pueden preguntar al chat grupo, al chat individual. Uh, y en la clase también pueden ir y preguntar. Good. So, let's practice a little bit. Uh, let's see. We're going to create sentence with this. Okay. Uh, sentence with this. Words. Um, just open the tacos. Who wants to participate? Who wants to participate? And I'll give an example.
Uh -huh. So, for example, let's see. I'm going to choose them. Let's see, Elizabeth. Could you please tell me an example of with any of those words? Con cualquiera de esas palabras. Just no sé si, tell no sé si soy la única, pero su audio se había como entrecortado y en dos ocasiones se le pausó el micrófono, pero no sé si soy solo yo o los compañeros también porque no sé cómo A ver, compañeros, ¿cómo está ahora? Mm, ok. Siempre se corta también, por eso no, yes. le, no le comprendí lo que me estaba a depuesto cuando le dijo Ride. ¿Y okay, tú? No. Yes. Okay. We, have to, we have to make a sentence. I, I listen. Ah, you listen too. Yeah, okay. Es parece que I'm going se to, escucha. Can I try, teacher, with some of these words? Of course. Please. Okay. okay. Maybe uh, I use supposedly. Okay, the, okay. the sentence is I sup it was supposedly that she invited me to the party. It's okay. Very good. Perfect. That is perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. So, Jesse, could you please do the next? Me, teacher. Okay. Please go ahead. Of course, I will go to the office tomorrow. Very good. That's very nice. Thank you. Uh, let's see for the moment. Of course, I tomorrow will study English. Very good. Of course, we will study English tomorrow. Nice. Okay. Very good. I guess that was um that was good. Uh para el señor. ¿Cómo estuvo la conexión ahora? Se escuchó mejor, se escuchó igual que ayer. Yo sé que han pasado accidentes, no sé por qué hay tanto problema ahora. Nunca Al inicio se... estaba mejor la calidad de la conexión, teacher. Pero durante la clase, ah. efectivamente lo que comentaba la compañera, hubo dos periodos en que solo veíamos que usted hablaba y no escuchábamos. Y luego se escucha entrecortado. Ok, okay sí, déjenme. Vamos a ver. En este momento, ¿cómo se escucha? Sí, entrecortado, el... teacher. Cortado. Entrecortado. Let me just check something here. Okay, and uh, let me just see. Yeah, it shouldn't be any problem because everything is fine. Okay, vamos a revisar entonces. Y bueno, mañana quizás me voy a conectar con la otra computadora. Solo que en la otra me van a ver bien oscuro porque es un poquito más viejita. Vamos a tratar así con la otra computadora. En este instante, porque sí es, en este... es importante. En este instante está claro, claro. Sí, bien raro, ¿verdad? Porque fíjese que eh, lo que hice fue algunas conexiones y ahora estoy conectado directamente al internet. Por eso se escucha un poco mejor. Definitivamente los otros dos días creo que tuvo problemas la conexión. Sí, lo que Pero yo le este... he observado es que cuando usted está cerquita no se le entrecorta tanto. Cuando usted se aleja, ahí sí. Interesante, vamos a ver. Hello, how are you? Can you hear me? Fine. ¿Se oye bien? No. Yes, yes, prueba, prueba. right now. Qué raro. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Google. 
<laughs> Technology sometimes is kind of strange. <laughs> because, you know, I work with, with technology and I know that sometimes happens. De hecho, ahora lo que pasó jamás había pasado, que se quedaba frozen la, la computadora. Sabía yo que si me salía y me volvía a meter, se iba a arreglar, pero no, no me podía salir. ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, yo en este momento veo congelado a mucha gente. No sé si ustedes me escuchan. Yes, ahí listo. Ajá, yes. porque yo tengo congelado a Gloria, a Carla Vázquez, a Ana Michelle. A todo el mundo casi tengo congelado. No sé si será de hecho esta computadora o será la actualización de Zoom, porque exacto el lunes se actualizó. Anyways. Okay, so we're going to do a little practice, free practice. Uh, let me check about the, the book. Um, No, we're not going to do that for the book. So we're going to do a little practice, free practice. Who wants to practice right now? Anybody? Hello? Who wants to practice right now? In, in conversation. Yeah, it's a little conversation. Sometimes we are going to do free conversation just to speak and practice. Okay. Okay, okay Abolo. Do you want to? Okay. Uh, uh, okay. This, hello. This month, hello, teacher. Yeah. How are you? How are you? I'm very well, and you? Uh, uh, very good here in my house. Rest. Is it raining there in your house? Yes, it's it raining and hot. Also. Really? It is not raining at all. It's hot, but it's hot. not raining. Okay, and where do you live? Uh, here in Lourdes. Lourdes, very good. Yeah. And do you yeah. work in San Salvador? No, here in my city, I work in the security of the company. Okay, that is very convenient, yeah. very nice. Yeah. So you don't have to commute. Very and um, yeah. good, very well. And um, uh, what do you usually do on your free time? Uh, I, I, I work uh, one day and last uh, and Next day, I rest. So you work one day and rest other day? 24 hours, 24 hours. 24 hours, very good. Yeah. yeah. And di did you work today? Uh, no, I, I rest in my house. Very well, that is nice. So yes. what time do you usually go to bed? Uh, the, the better time. Yeah. What time do you usually go to bed? Uh, it's um, one day rest. Uh, no, but for example, today, what time yeah. do you usually go to bed? Oh, okay. Is the best day is when I are uh, of day, yeah. Yeah, no, but the question is, what time? What time do you usually go to bed? Well, well, the tempo. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, teacher, and I, I, I not used it understand good. Don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, Le voy yeah. diciendo esa, sería a qué hora se va a la cama, a qué hora se acuesta. All right, all right. Usually. Yeah. Yes, usually in midnight. Really, midnight? Midnight, yeah. What time do you usually get up? 
uh, I, 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 I slept uh, three, three, three hours and, and I work in my work. My in my work. Okay. So you yes. work 24 hours in a row. 24 hours, exactly. Okay, very good. Okay, okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you, you teacher. Very nice. Okay, everybody, sometimes we're going to do some free speaking just to practice in a regular way, in a normal way. And um, if you want to do it, of course, I will ask who wants to do it. If we have enough time, maybe we are going to do it for three or four people. So let's see how it goes. Um, do you have any questions with the class of today? No teacher. No questions. Okay, so we are going to check the attendance. So we are almost finishing the class today. Okay, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baires Solórzano. Present, teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Good. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Present, good night. Good night. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Good. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present, teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Yancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Present. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Ana Michelle Guevara. Present. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Very good. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be here with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night and see you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay, good night. You. Okay, good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you. Good night. Good night, everybody. Yeah, thank you. You too. Now we listen. Good teacher. Very good. Perfect. I don't know what's going on. I need okay. to analyze this. I guess it's, I know it's the connection, but you know, I'm working uh, Mondays and Tuesday. Monday and Tuesday, I was working only with Wi Fi. I have a Chromebook and it's yeah. not possible to connect that directly to the net, but I make a, an adaptation. So I built a cable and put and connected. I made some tests and it was working properly. I don't know why there was a problem sometimes and I don't know why it got frozen. I mean, this is the very first time that that happened to me that everything got frozen and I was thinking, what can I do, right? What can I do? So then I realized that maybe if I go to the break rooms 
and then go back, that works and actually that worked. Other than that, probably maybe I had to close everything and restart the computer. I don't know, <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah. Anyways, I don't know. Related to the video, is possible the platform the song required maybe a specific I the, the IT uh, IT personnel maybe can help related to the why in Zoom in specific in Zoom I note that probably the project videos or the audio. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. I have another computer I was telling you that uh, the other one is a Windows. I don't like it very much because it's very slow. Uh, yeah. But I never had a problem with that one. I mean, I, I show the video and everybody will. I mean, probably tomorrow I will try. I will try to do it mm -hmm. on, on that one. And uh, let's see how it goes. But, well, I need to. The problem with that, with that one is that since that is very slow, I need to start around 6 with a computer and set everything ready. Yeah. Or anyway, it's possible your computer required maybe configuration. Or... That's what I'm thinking. I'm going to read tomorrow to see what else can I do, right? right. Because I don't know it's kind of strange. But anyways, the good thing is that we are moving on, and well, I believe that the class of today was a little bit better in quality on technology than yesterday. Let me just move this person here. Hold on a second. I'm going to just uh, okay. Okay, so um, Anna, tell me, how are you today? Fine, teacher. Tired, but fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your English level is very good. Um, but for me, it's a uh, um challenge <laughs> i need to get the because all my life um i, I am starting in english but only the the level internet only the level internet the the, the old the methodologies the american school the own <laughs> but in my in my work um related to the technical vocabulary is easy for me, the technical, because the standards, my tools are in English, only in English. But when I, uh, I need to, to be in a meeting, in a conference, it's difficult because when the the conference, the amphitheon, are you amphitheon? Okay. The host. The host, yes. The host is the, the Europe, for example. It's very difficult for me to understand the, I try to, to, to catch the idea, but the participation, because I, I don't feel um, trust, trust, trust. Okay. But I need to more practice. I need to, but this is the point, teacher. <laughs> honestly, honestly, <laughs> I need to more practice for listening and okay. speaking. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. The good thing is that you know what you need to do. I mean, um, that is very important. So but I, I believe that your English is very good. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes you are speaking with somebody from other countries since, since they speak with their accent, uh, with their mm -hmm. vocabulary, sometimes it's difficult. So, you know, in my job, my regular job is not a teacher. Uh, so mm -hmm. in my regular job, I speak with people from India, from China, from um, Ireland, and yes, they are so different. I mean, English is the same English, but sometimes it's, it's very difficult. See, so I understand my, you. 
in my case, uh, the last month, I had experience related to the, the uh, problem with the technology in my programs. And I had contact with the indie professional of IT. Well, I, I need to, to um, ask, please write your question because that was not possible. Understand. It's time for yeah. me, but I prefer to, to, I prefer to speak with the truth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I know it's, it's difficult, but but if you continue practicing, you will be you will be very good. And uh, well, for for to, for you to speak, of course, the only way for you to to be with other people. So whenever you have the chance, mm -hmm. you can speak, and uh, you can also yeah, for listening is a little bit easier. I mean, you can see pictures. I mean, uh, films in in English or uh, YouTube channels in English about certain things so you can gain some vocabulary and check the, the pronunciation. So that is something. But also there are other things that you can do. For example, in Google, if you open a document drive, you will be able to see on the top, I don't remember exactly what is in data or anything like that, but you will be able to, to record your voice. I mean, it's going mm -hmm. to transform your voice into text. Ah, so that is ah, a very yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it's a good advice. Yes, thank you, teacher. It's a good advice. Oh, I try, but I have a lot of activities during the day. Um, but I try to to uh, include the activity related to the English. Because okay. it's very, very important to, to improve. Very good. So that is the way it is. Nice. So if you continue like that, everything will be fine. So let me ask you, um, do you have any questions about the topics we have checked or the topics that you checked before? In no, the other the question I asked during the class because I, am, I was confused. Uh, confused with the, the position or the use, not position, the use of the expression, but your um, explanation, explanation is right. Your explanation, it was clear for me. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Now, mm -hmm. whenever you have a question, remember that you can do it in the class or uh, in the chat next day or it can be in the group I'll chat, or it can be also direct. So it would be a pleasure to help you out. Thank you, teacher. Okay, very well. And uh, yeah, please continue practicing. You are very, very good. I know that, of course, sometimes we are afraid. Uh, and what I've tried to do is make you speaking. Uh, I know the business vocabulary sometimes is a little bit confusing. And grammar, when we are in advanced levels, is a little bit also a challenge, but you are in a, in the right path. So continue like that. And of course, it would be a pleasure to continue helping you out. Thank you, teacher. Okay. So if there is uh, anything else that we can do here, uh, or if you have any other question, of course, we are going to finish and see you tomorrow. Have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow, teacher. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.